And you're live. Cool. Okay. So uh, since it's relevant to the fillet question, um, I'll kind of cover just a, qu a few quick things at once. You see, the dialogues kind of look a little bit different. The, they'll tend to be dockable over on this left-hand side. Um, and, and most of the stuff will tend to occur over in this area. Anyway, if you've used to Libre for any amount of time, undoubtedly, if you're uh, monkeying around with spinner increments on constraints or uh, spinner increments on fillets or anything where things start to fail and you get that big modal, in other words, uh, it gets in your way. Dialog box that says, hey, this thing has failed and you got to click that. And then you got to go, you know, try a different one. And that maybe that fails too. And you got to click that too. Um, becomes really annoying and it disrupts your workflow and it gets in the way. Um, so you might have disabled it. And so one of the things we're going to increase this fillet size here until it fails. And we can see in the bottom right hand side that we have this little new notification approach that doesn't get in the way. So I can keep messing with stuff, uh, but it'll tell me why I can get more info and this will say, okay, this is the reason. Now this may not make a lot of sense. These typically come from ACES and it, you know, unless you're an ACES engineer, may not <laughs> be the most valuable thing to know, uh, but usually it resolves to it's too big, uh, like they were saying earlier. Anyway, the point being that um, this is just kind of a quick preview of not only the new notification system in V29, kind of a high level of what some of the dialogues look like. Um, you'll see a few of the kind of fundamental approaches to, you know, the, the previous extrude boss dialogue, for example, was uh, really dense and half the stuff's grayed out at all times. And if it doesn't make a ton of sense. So we've kind of taken a different approach of um, being able to only show you what's available and let you enable things to show them in the UI, but otherwise they kind of stay hidden. Um, and that, that kind of approach has been carried out, you know, through all kinds of stuff. So the, the color properties dialog, it's a little bit easier to select your colors and you can edit the colors um and those will actually stay between sessions and things like that so you know these are just silly examples but the, the point being from the extrude dialogue to the way that we're showing notifications all the way to part color um the, throughout the entire product we've tried to make tons of little micro improvements uh to make that process uh, easier and to make the ui smaller and uh, more digestible uh, without showing you tons of things that you can't use or are not applicable to where you are in the workflow at any given time. Um, so anyway, hope that was a fun little, fun little preview. Beautiful stuff. I like that. 